Donovan. This is um, a poetry class for a fifth year higher level group. So I've chosen the topic of poetry as I struggled with it in secondary school and college. Um, it's the first class of the year for this fifth year higher level group. First poetry class. Although I enjoyed poetry and the conversations that came with it, I struggled with the technical aspects of the topic. I could never quite grasp the concept of deconstructing the poem and finding its actual meaning. What I would like to achieve with this class and in all my poetry classes would be to give the students the knowledge that would allow them to be confident in analysing poetry. The class will begin with a revision of junior cycle information and progress to higher order senior cycle English. The topic is a key element of the study of poetry in senior cycle English. It deals with a poem that is on a prescribed list of texts for the Leaving Cert 2020-21. As previously mentioned, this is an hour long lesson designed for a higher level fifth year class. This class is mixed ability and there's a range of different learners in the class, there's 24 people. The class caters to the less able students as well as those who better grasp the concept of poetry. So the teacher will differentiate in the lesson by asking higher and lower order questions and using exercises which can be tailored to suit any level of learner. The learning outcomes, uh, sorry, the learning intentions of the lesson will be outlined to the learners at the beginning of the class. The teacher and the students will then agree on success criteria. This sets out a clear plan and sets the tone for the lesson. It avoids any uncertainty as to what the learners should be doing. So learning intention one is to remember poetic techniques that were learned at junior cycle. The learner should be able to recall the techniques of poetry. Learning intention two is to, aid, to apply this knowledge of poetic techniques in a real life setting where they will examine the poem Sport by Paul Durkin, attempting to find examples of poetic techniques within the poem. And number three is to analyze the poem and explain its meaning. Being able to deconstruct and interpret the meaning of the poem is crucial to develop the skills as a student of English in the study of poetry and prose. So the success criteria that will be agreed with the students for this lesson will determine if the lesson has achieved the learning intentions. The student will be able to remember and list poetic techniques learned at junior cycle. They will be able to apply them in the context of analysing sport by Durkin and identify the techniques in the poem. They will also be able to describe the basic meaning of the poem. So their prior knowledge. They should be able to recall and list the main techniques of poetry from their knowledge of junior cycle English. They should also have a basic knowledge of the themes of poetry. They should not be expected to know the poetry of Paul Durkin, but if any student had previously read this poet's work, it would serve as a big advantage to learning the poet in the Leaving Cycles, uh, the Leaving Cert setting. So the, the question of the concept that may be difficult for students to grasp, this is actually quite it's quite interesting to me as I feel sometimes as teachers, we assume the students have a comprehensive knowledge of each topic um, when they may have a very basic grasp of this concept. So I find poetry to be a very good example of this phenomenon because of its technical nature. Um, if a student cannot immediately grasp the meaning of the poem, they may switch off and become disengaged with the lesson. If the teacher can avoid this confusion by slowly walking the students through the process of analyzing poetry, there's a better chance that students will not switch off and can engage with what they are learning in a more interactive way. So, to begin the class, students will listen to a non-explicit version of the chorus of Eminem's song Cleaning Out My Closet, with lyrics in order to connect Durkin's poetry to a piece of popular media. The song has been chosen as it also deals with the theme of parenthood, such a, uh, in the same way as sport does. Students uh, are going to complete a think-pair-share activity on poetic techniques, so they'll be given one minute to think independently, then they will pair up with their partner to discuss their thoughts for a minute. They will share their thoughts in the form of a class discussion then, um, and the teacher is going to use a whiteboard to write up suggestions. This is going to aid visual learners and people who don't quite um, who don't quite grasp the concept of grasp grasp this concept would be able to visually see on the board what's happening. So and this isn't this this differentiation is going to um, help less confident learners and they can also rely then on their peers to share ideas with the class so that they don't have to be speaking in front of the class. So learners will then read the poem. They will be expected to have their copy of Sport by Durkin. Then the teacher will first read the poem aloud for the learners. The students are then going to read the poem aloud as a class by either volunteering or being prompted by the teacher. Then they will read the poem a third time, silently being directed by the teacher to ensure purposeful reading. 
To identify poetic techniques, the teacher will then initiate a verbal Q&A session with the students. This will focus on poetic techniques as they are listed here. Rhyme, rhythm, onomatopoeia, simile, metaphor, assonance, alliteration, hyperbole, and personification. So the teacher will ask for volunteers just to speak in class and um, volunteer to their ideas that they, they may have on any of the poetic techniques. They will then complete a raindrop exercise which is um, which is a, a good exercise to graphically organize their ideas. So they're gonna use this raindrop exercise to organize and write the headings and a brief explanation of poetic techniques in the raindrops. This is gonna give them a visual representation of the information and allow them to organize their thoughts. This helps visual learners as they may struggle to conceptualize the spoken definitions of terms being discussed. And simply to assess this exercise, then the teacher will use formative assessment. They'll ask for volunteers uh, to answer what they've been filling into the raindrops on the sheet. And then the teacher will offer feedback on the answers given by the students. Then the teacher will follow this kind of basic revision with an exercise that requires a little bit of higher order thinking. So the students will fill out the first two sections of this KWL worksheet. Uh, individually. So these sections ask what the student knows and what they want would like to know. In this case, they will be asked to pick out poetic techniques found in sport. When students have completed these sections, the exercise will be open to the whole class discussion about the final section, which asks what I learned. This is where the students can fill out any definitions that they may not have known in the first section. The benefit of this exercise is that it can, it can be quite student led. Um, it's likely that someone in the class is going to know each of the definitions. So the student led learning is beneficial as the class then can take ownership of their own learning. So this is a better look then at the KWL exercise, as I mentioned in the last slide. It's quite clear and concise. Um, it's a good way of organizing the facts as they relate to the topic in question. As you can see, students then have a visual representation to document their learning. It is laid out in a manner that allows it to be finished by a class discussion, which I feel is a very, very important part of a poetry class. And then the teacher will initiate a group work exercise. So in order to analyze the meaning of the poem, the teacher will split the class into groups of four. The groups will then be assigned a stanza of the poem for a close reading. The class will be given 10 minutes where they will read the stanza and discuss the meaning as a group. The class will then speak about the meaning of the poem with the group who was assigned each stanza, showing what they've found about the piece, kind of as a de facto expert in the on the subject. Difficulties then. In teaching poetry, the teacher is almost always going to run into an issue of a preconceived notions of the topic. So they may have been developed due to the way the subject has been taught at junior cycle, or as I previously mentioned, the technical and complex nature of the topic. Uh, another roadblock in the study of poetry would be the lack of engagement from students. So if they're afraid of giving a silly or wrong answer, the teacher will struggle to get them to interact in a way that is quite necessary in an English classroom. Therefore, it's kind of very important that a teacher creates an environment of safe learning in the classroom, where a student is not afraid to say anything that could be remotely close to the correct answer. So it's going to aid a, a class dialogue and it's going to breed further discussion. So this in turn will it'll be of benefit to every student in the class because they're going to get the opportunity to hear their classmates' opinions and they're going to add them to their own bank of knowledge then. How will key skills be developed? So in poetry, the key skill that is developed is the comprehension of aesthetic language. So this lesson can develop the student's ability to read and view poetry, being conscious of its specific use of language. It will also develop a student's awareness of their own opinions of texts. So they will be able to generate these opinions while they interpret the texts. There will also be an attempt to compare texts, which students will be introduced to in this class in the form of the hook. The song that in the hook holds many of the themes as um, which are very similar to the poem being studied. And this will give students a soft introduction to the comparison of texts, which is so crucial in the comprehension of aesthetic texts at the insert level. Learners should now understand poetic techniques learned at the junior cycle. They will now be able to outline and describe the nine poetic techniques. The learners will be able to apply their knowledge of poetic techniques to the reading of Paul Durkin's poem, Sport. They've examined the poem and interpreted using poetic techniques as their guide for deconstructing the meaning of the poem. And also the students have analyzed the poem and are able to explain its basic meaning so that they should also should be able to deduce the main message of this poem. 